After being announced quite some time ago, Google has finally launched Nearby Share for Windows. What this is, is a way to share files easily between Android devices and Windows PC. You've already got Nearby Share for Android to Android, but now you can use this to quickly share a file from your phone or your tablet directly to your Windows PC. In this video, we're going to take a look at that nearby share functionality, but I'm also going to compare it to what I've already been doing for a really long time. And I'm skeptical that this is actually going to be quicker or easier, but we're going to find out. So the first thing you're going to want to do, click on the link in the description to this blog post, which does actually have the nearby share beta. Scroll down, just download and install the beta app on your PC. Click on that, you've got your get started download thing. I've already downloaded it and installed it. Once it's done and set up, this is the screen that you're going to have. From there, it should be trivially easy to share a file from your phone. I should be able to open up an application on my phone and then click on the little share button down here at the bottom and look for nearby share. Click on that and theoretically, it should see my computer. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Looking for nearby devices, there is Shane's PC. We're gonna select that. You see this popping up here, accept, and the file has been received. So I will say that was pretty fast and easy. Now I do wanna confirm one thing. Does this application actually need to be actively opened for this to work? So I've closed it and I don't believe that it's running in the background. It actually is running in the background. So I'm assuming that has to be the case. But what's gonna happen when I try and share this file again? Is it going to cause something to pop up? Oh, no, it doesn't. So I've done this like eight times and the result of this is that I've sent myself that picture over and over. So it looks as though once it's done it once, it's sort of like authorized to do it over and over. And it's gonna go into your downloads folder by default. I don't know if this is something they can actually be changed, although we can take a look at this really quickly. You can run into PC, you can change the folder, but it's going to go to that one folder. So honestly, this is working fairly well. And I think for a lot of people, this is going to be just fine. I can't imagine that this is taking up a whole heck of a lot of resources. Let's find it here. Nearby share, it's using 69 megabytes of RAM. So not too bad at all. So you could conceivably just leave this running in the background at all times. And I think be pretty, pretty well off. But now I'm going to show you an alternative. What I've been using for many months and what I will very likely continue to use for some reasons that will become obvious to you here in a moment. So the first thing you're going to want to do on your Android device is go to the Play Store and search for CX File Explorer. This is the one we're looking for here. Go ahead, install that. And once you're done, open it up. It'll ask you to do some permissions and so forth, get past all of that. And we're looking for the network tab. Now from there, we have to go back to our Windows computer. And there are a couple of things that we're going to need to do. The first thing is open up your file browser and you're going to navigate to a folder that you want to have access to on your Android device. So we're just gonna pick a folder at random. We're gonna do my Steam library. Obviously I wouldn't need that, but we're gonna do it anyways, just to be able to do it. So right click it and click on properties. Now you're looking for sharing. From there, we're gonna click on, see where it says network path, network file and folder sharing. Click on share, then click on this little drop down here and we're gonna click on everyone and then add. And we're gonna change the permission to read and write and then we're gonna click on share. Now back on our Android device, we can click on new location, remote local network and it will scan your network. Now your computer and your phone need to be on the same network. That's one caveat here. That is my computer. Now on this screen, there's one of two ways we can go. You can either type in the login for your computer. So that should be like if it's Windows 11, probably your Microsoft account, which will be your email and then your password and proceed. Or you can click on anonymous and then that will require us to change a quick setting on our computer. Now, if you're afraid that anyone can anonymously access your files, that might be something to be concerned about. However, they do have to be on your wireless network or on your home network to do this. So it's not something I'm super concerned about. This is actually how I do it, but you do what you think uh, is the safest for you. Let's jump over to this other screen and we're gonna type in advanced sharing settings, and I believe that's the one there, manage advanced sharing settings. 
you want to make sure network discovery is on, file and printer sharing is on, and then under all networks where it says password protected sharing, turn that to off if you want the anonymous option to function. Go ahead and click on OK, and there you will see the folder that you just shared. Now you see all the folders I have shared plus the Steam library folder, and I can access that file. So let's go back for a second. Let's go into my downloads where that photo is, and I can select it and copy it and move it to my phone, or I can move things from my phone to my computer, but more than just that, I can pick where I want it to go, what folder I want it to be in. So one of the things I do a lot on this channel is I will film B-roll with one of my phones, like something like my S23 Ultra. And then whenever I'm done, well, I'll just show you exactly what happens. So imagine this is the exact same scenario. This is a, imagine this is B-roll that I want to put on my computer. I'm going to click on share. I'm going to scroll up, click on CX File Explorer, click on my computer, click on whatever folder I wanted to be, and we'll just do downloads, and then click on save, and that is now on my computer. So you can see what I mean when I talk about there are reasons I'm going to probably keep using this over nearby share. It's very, very fast, but I can pick what folder I want it to be in, and it goes both ways, which is also pretty cool. I do believe nearby share actually does go both ways as well. Yeah, you can actually share out from there. But again, I can pick where I want it to go. This gives me more flexibility. And as you can see there, I have my computer and my wife's computer both on here. Any other Windows PC that I want to do this network sharing thing on is going to be accessible in this way. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't actually think Nearby Share is bad. It's actually performing better than I expected it to. It's very, very good. And it's probably the simpler option of these two. But if you want more granular control, check out CX File Explorer. Do the network sharing thing. And it's going to work really well for you as well. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. Check out my channel partner, Mint Mobile, to save a ton of money on your cell phone bill each and every month. Guys, I will see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.